Another big question people ask is how does VPD, vapor pressure deficit, relate to nutrient uptake, and what's the optimum VPD? Now, first of all, VPD is related to humidity, but it's really humidity at different temperatures. And I give lectures on psychometrics, and if you're really interested in psychometrics, you should sign up for our cannabis class, because we have a whole one-hour lecture on how to calculate VPD. But it's a number between about zero would be 100% humidity, not good. And as this goes up, this can go all the way to four, and the units for this are kilopascals. That's a lowercase k, kilopascals. Um, normally, the optimums are about one to two um, in this range. Our plants in the field see four kilopascals all the time around here, here, and they grow just fine, provided they're well watered. And so, What's the optimal VPD? Well, first of all, let's, let's answer the first question. How does it relate to nutrient uptake? So let me draw a little picture up here. And uh, if you don't already know this, I love drawing pictures of a plant because if you get good at drawing up, and here's a cannabis plant up here. If you get it good at drawing plants, that's the whole key. Um, Water comes in the plant and out in transpiration. If the VPD is a big number, let's say it's two up here. This is like the suction pulling the water out of the plant. If this is two, the water goes through the plant, all other things being equal, twice as fast than if it was one. Twice as fast, the water's whipping through the plants. If we put on the same amount of fertilizer and the VPD is two and the, and the ions are in solution, they're gonna get too much fertilizer compared to one. Two would be humidities about, at 25C would be humidities about 40%. Um, one would be humidities about 70%. So this is in the range of what we have. So the higher the VPD, the faster the water uptake and the faster the nutrient uptake, partly because we're adding a refill solution. Blue is a hard color, let's stick with purple. We're adding a refill solution and in that solution are all our nutrients. So if we have a low VPD, more water, the plant's getting more nutrients. So when you have low humidities and high VPDs, we want to be careful about not adding too much fertilizer. And the reverse is true at low humidities. Um, this is about 40% and this is about 70% at 25 degrees C. And I can go check my math on some, some table, see how close I am. Um, but that's a, that's a key thing. If the plants are using a lot of water, we want to make the fertilizers more dilute. What's the optimal VPD for various stages of the life cycle? People try to dial this in, get it just right to the exact, um, an exact number. It turns out, unlike something like pH, VPD is optimal over a very wide range. Like I said, we go all the way to four in the field and it's fine. The key is disease. And if these VPDs are between zero and one and the humidities are high, we get more disease. But tritis is a big one. So we want to keep the VPD high to, minimize, to keep the humidity low to keep disease out. But in terms of plant growth, really between one and four, there's a minimal um, effect, direct effect a VPD, provided the plants are well watered. If they're water stressed, yes, then four is really bad. But if, if they're not water stressed, um, growth is good over a wide range. 
Now, to get to a Ford, you gotta have a big dehumidification system, so we rarely ever get to that level in uh, cannabis.